stuff wasn't interesting enough. Look at some of these other coincidences that just seem to be popping up, but of course, it's people like me who are looking for them because coincidences are just always happening, right? Little Wayne, the rapper Little Wayne, Little Wayne, covered him a million times on this channel. Always throwing up the 666, devil horn, showing himself demonically possessed, rapping about Lucifer, rapping about demonic possession, showing himself in his videos, taking blood oaths, you know, the typical indo indoctrination that these Satanists take where they have blood baptisms compared to, you know, the opposite of Christian baptism and water. Well, Little Wayne happened to release an album today entitled Funeral. That's right, Funeral. Now you might say, well, why is that weird? Well, Little Wayne happens to have a song called Kobe Bryant that he wrote years back where he raps about Kobe and saying he's better than LeBron and saying to an assassin killer instinct, murder the basket. Those types of lyrics which make no sense, referring to him as a beast. And now when he releases this album today called Funeral, is it coincidental that he puts a dedication on the album for Kobe Bryant? Where he leaves, literally leaves it silent on track number eight for 24 seconds in honor of Kobe? And then the lyrics of his song, Funeral, let me read some of them to you, because, you know, we all believe in coincidences. <laughs> Unbelievable, right? He says, welcome to the funeral, closed casket as usual, the choir sing at musicals, I bust in with that Uzi though, and they look like they saw Lucifer, so to start, of course, he's referencing Lucifer, and then he goes on to talk about, oh, this This can't be a coincidence, can it? I mean, whew, he says, I'm oh, sorry, I'm laughing, because it's just, it's all right there. This is how the occult operates, right in front of your face. He says, now we need one for you and him. That's why they should cremate you. Hope when you die, they commemorate you. Life is a movie, and it's in theaters. I don't know. I mean, how many songs do we hear where they talk about life imitating art and movies being more realistic than the news? And now you have Little Wayne, who happens to have a song about Kobe Bryant, dedicated to him, called Kobe Bryant. He just happened to quickly add in in the eighth track on the album for the release today, where he leaves it silent for Kobe Bryant for 24 seconds because. Those are his two jersey numbers, 8 and 24. And then the song, Funeral, he happens to talk about, when you die, I hope they commemorate you, which is exactly what we're seeing, right? We're seeing Kobe Bryant honored by everything that breathes. I mean, you literally had the Los Angeles Clippers saying they're going to win a championship for Kobe Bryant. That's like the opposite team in Los Angeles. You know? It makes absolutely no sense. It's like the a Boston Red Sox player from 10 years ago dying, and the Yankees going today, we're going to win a World Series for them. Huh? What? So he talks about commemorating him, and then what's interesting on his Instagram account, <laughs> he posts funeral, and then he reverses it, right? That's his little video. He puts it in reverse. Now, what is that significant of? Well, it's the law of reversal. The law of reversal taught by their hero, Aleister Crowley, who Little Wayne worships, all these celebrities, Jay-Z, they all worship Aleister Crowley. Nobody seems to be bothered by the fact that Crowley had no problem abusing children and animals just to be in direct contact with Satan through these disgusting satanic rituals that he performed that he teaches in his book about human sacrifice and blood sacrifice being the purest form of black magic and then you see him on the Beatles album cover? Nah. All coincidental that he would have funeral pop up in reverse on there. Not paying homage to Crowley in the law of reversal. Crowley taught everybody to do things and learn things backwards. That's what backmasking is. He taught people to walk backwards. I mean, coincidence.
okay? So Kobe Bryant, we're supposed to believe that all this stuff going on, where you're hearing the most bizarre, you know, things come out about how to honor him, which is just nothing more than Egyptian culture. You know, this is just, this stuff's right out of the Book of the Dead. This is spell casting, is what it is. These tributes and these rituals that they're putting out there for people, a massive one. And you get this guy who's, like I said, he's taking blood baths. He's holding the 666 over his eye. He's becoming demonically possessed. <laughs> it's always talking about Lucifer. He's got the Freemasonic black and white tile on his album covers. Right? But we're supposed to believe that this is all coincidence. This is a problem with the world we live in. Everybody likes to be force-fed this stuff and not critically think. People don't use their brain ever, right? Why is Lil Wayne always holding up the 666 signs? Is he saying things are A-OK? Is that why he's holding it up over his eye? Is he saying he just hit a three-pointer? Why does he have a pentagram tattooed on his head along with millions of other celebrities which I've exposed over and over? Do you think it's coincidence that he comes out with an album called Funeral and it releases today? And he's got lyrics in there about being you know, honored and commemorated and saying that it's all theater, that what you see is all theater. What's the exact verse? Let me read it to you one more time. Life is a movie and it's in theaters, right? Telling you that this is a show. That's what this is. These celebrities are here to socially engineer and manipulate your emotions. They're here not just to distract you, which is the most common thing people say. They go, who cares about focusing on them? They're a distraction. This is, these are the people that the mindless zombies worship. They're the ones who are socially engineering people into trends. And people don't even realize why they like a certain thing, why they dress a certain way. They think they're just independently doing it because they keep getting told, You're, you do you, you take care of you, do yourself, be who you are, huh? What does that even mean? They're trying to convince people that, so that they don't even think or want to believe that they could be socially engineered. So they hear that, they dismiss it. Welcome to your funeral, Kobe. Preacher preach, and by the way, I mean, all the lyrics in the song are about shooting people, but you don't hear anyone, any outcry from uh, Hollywood and all these people, you know, who, who attack gun advocates, right? They go, no, 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 it's, it's part of the art that he's talking about this stuff. Oh, so that's not engineering anyone. And he's saying, oh, they look like they saw Lucifer. Welcome to the funeral. I guess it's just me, right? It's all in my head. I don't know. I mean, I'm just showing it to you so you can decide for yourself if all these things are coincidental. If interviews that are talking about how Kobe wanted to die young so he could be immortalized, right? How you even have symbolism with the helicopter exploding. And the helicopter crashing, which I've showed in multiple videos, if you've seen the Kobe videos I put up. And all these other things that just keep coming out, these tributes. Remember, these are this is ancient Egyptian culture. You think it was a coincidence when Whitney Houston died? Same type of love affair and everybody crying and going nuts. But they had Egyptian coffins and all that crap at her funeral. What do you think she's just, just randomly happy? These people believe. That they are the Egyptian gods and goddesses reborn, reincarnate. And they don't believe when they die that it's over. They believe that they either, you know, they come back and, and they believe in the most ridiculous nonsense. So death to them isn't a big thing. So Kobe Bryant was chosen, like Phil Jackson says, he's one of the chosen ones. And then you have all this stuff just coincidentally falling in right in front of your face with Lil Wayne to, you know, eight minutes song a 24 seconds moment of silence the nba everybody taking 24 seconds off i mean these are rituals that are being performed plain and simple the theater right one more time before we wrap it up i love the quote i'll give uh i'll give little way credit for it because at least he's speaking the truth because it's one of the most i mean it's right in your face they're telling you life is a movie and it's in theaters <laughs> pretty much saying stuff too that's in theaters is really what's going on in life when you see these movies over and over showing demonic possession the occult <laughs> the stuff you see on the news is the big facade the impeachment and all this other crap unbelievable i want to thank you guys for listening
the same day show. Let me know what you think in the comment section. I saw this and I was just cracking up. I mean, cracking up. It's like every day there's something that comes out. Tributes and you would think that, you know, a, a god died. Is that's how they're acting. A guy who shot a ball into a net. A hoop. I mean, I've shot a ball into a hoop. Well, of course, I'm not Kobe Bryant as far as being able to make as many shots, although maybe in my heyday I could have hit one or two. No, I'm kidding. But you get the point. You shot a ball into a hoop, you, and you're treated like a god. And you don't think that there's anything suspicious about this stuff or the behavior that's come? I mean, just how people are acting and reacting? It's more than a distraction, folks. More than a distraction. I thank you for listening to today's show. Again, let me know what you think in the comment section below. God bless all of you and your families.